We're Sid and Mackie, and we're professional mountain bike racers on a quest to find the best and most challenging mountain bike races around the world. Today, we're heading to Moab, Utah to race Moab Rocks, a three-day stage race that takes us on Moab's best mountain bike trails. On day one, we'll be racing down Moab's most iconic trail, Porcupine Single Track to Porcupine Rim, otherwise known as the bottom half of the whole enchilada. However, first we have to get up the hill. This is the worst part. <laughs> Bike racing is hard. It is hard. It's extremely hard. And, you know, you've had a hard go of it recently. We're going to Moab. Moab, Moab. Are you excited? I'm so excited. We are going to be racing our first cross country race of the year, Moab Rocks. Moab Rocks is one of our favorite races of the year as it combines tough cross-country climbs with rough technical descents for a true mountain bike experience. This year, it's also our first cross-country race of the year. We're excited to be back here. Uh, Moab Rocks stage race on tap for the next three days. And the very first day is no joke. We'll be starting with a 13.5 mile road climb gaining 3,400 feet before dropping into the nine mile descent on the whole enchilada, which is full of sweet single track and rough, rocky Jeep track. Night before the race, how are you feeling? I'm nervous, but like, I'm kind of close enough that I can't be too nervous because like, it's about to happen. Luckily, to help with the nerves, we're being joined by a pretty great crew. We've got my dad, Jim, who will be racing his third Moab Rocks only a few days after his 70th birthday. And then our good friends have come all the way from Arkansas to race with us. Alex is racing Moab Rocks in preparation for racing the 100 mile Margie Jessic in September. And Kelsey is racing because, well, Mackie stole her phone and registered her for the race way back in November of last year. We've also got Coach Mike heading up our unbeatable support crew. I did look at the pro women's roster, which is pretty competitive. So I decided to pivot my energy to beating Alex. We've been playing mind games with one another. He's claiming he's not going to go hard and that he hasn't trained at all and yada, yada, yada. But I don't know, I don't believe it. I mean, I believe that he didn't train. I think Alex has done enough racing that he's gonna have a hard time getting on the start line and not going hard. But I I also think he's already admitted defeat. I have no problem being beat by Sid. <laughs> I just know he's going to Or is he messing with me? That's the question. I have 190 miles this year. <laughs> okay. Kelsey Definitely has 158 miles. miles. You have 565. 565, nice, Sid. 679. Oh man, I'm winning. Ooh, he's winning 757. Whoa, <laughs> nice, Jim. <laughs> Pasta. Mike pasta. and my mom are making pasta. Hallelujah, because we are starving. I'm just concerned if I follow your instructions with the power numbers, then I will be behind everyone at the top of the hill. One of my shortfalls as a coach, sometimes <laughs> I'm a little conservative with race plans, especially for stage racing, okay. which, which sometimes pays off. Sometimes yeah. does not. I was less conservative with Mackie's yeah. race plan. Fair probably to say that there are reasons you were conservative with mine. I'm not a dictator, so I'm gonna listen. For you, I, I think it's okay. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. To be a little more aggressive than my plan, because there's time on this climb to recover. Yeah. Last year, mm -hmm. I saw your numbers. And I was like, cool, I'll do that. Yeah. And then the race started. And, and you didn't and I just do that. completely ignored your numbers <laughs> for the rest of that day. <laughs> have to stand there and do this today. That's important. <laughs> Kelsey's braver than all of us. We've got the tank top at the start. <laughs> yeah, look at those guns! 
Your new helmets look good. Yeah, I really like it a lot, actually. I'm excited to see how it rides for a million hours. So I'm gonna be out there forever. So how are you feeling this morning? Ready. Ready? Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> I noticed that your bike is twice as heavy now that you have two water bottles on it. <laughs> yeah, I don't like packs. Two, nice. multi tool, CO2, <laughs> a timing chip, we're good to go. How you doing? I feel like I'm in a barf. I am also very nervous. First big race of the season. Did well here last year. Would like to do well again. A little bit uh, stiffer competition and a deeper field. So, I have to work hard. Don't forget our post race celebration this afternoon at Swanee Park. Four, three, two, one. Three, two, one. Go and rock! Off we go, Riders. See how long it takes us to start moving. Compared to last year, today's start was slow, with the front of the field keeping the pace pretty reasonable, at least until we passed the Sand Flats entrance when things got a bit more exciting. Once the pace picked up, the group splintered with a couple guys going off the front, followed by a chase group of about 15 riders. This was the group I wanted to stick with, and I spent the next half hour pushing hard to stay connected. Eventually though, I couldn't hold the pace and got spit off the back. Having been in this position before, I knew that if I wasn't careful, this could be a point where I really slowed down and lost a lot of time. So I focused on eating and drinking, and after a short recovery, started pushing again, eventually catching up to Brent, another racer who'd been dropped by the main group. We climbed together for the next 30 minutes, taking turns leading until he got a bit of a gap on me before we turned off the road and started the descent down Porcupine Single Track. Thank you. Okay, single track. Time to make up some time. This is the worst part. As expected, the climb was difficult for me. However, I followed Mike's instructions, at least until the ranger station, and then went by feel, slowly catching and passing people all the way up. I made a big push at the top to get into the single track ahead of the group I was with. Hallelujah. We're saved. <laughs> Unfortunately, the clear sailing lasted for only about 30 seconds. Coming through. Thank you. Yeah. Anyway, moral of the story, <clears throat> didn't go fast enough up the climb. A little mid-race slide. Right in. You take it. I want to interrupt for a quick second to draw your attention to Payson, the rider in the pink jersey. 
His reaction in this situation is the perfect example of good mountain bike racing etiquette. When he heard me coming and realized that I was going to be riding a feature that he was walking, he immediately yielded the trail to let me through. In the same way that bikes should yield to hikers and horses, if you're walking, you should always yield to someone who's riding. Okay, back to the video. Well, can't fault that for efficiency. Due to the fragile cryptobiotic soil in Moab, one of the race rules is no passing except on slick rock. So this went on for a while. Speak around here the next time it opens up. I appreciate it. Going. And I come around to two on you. Yeah. Oh, baby. That's good. It is. Good. Yeah. Okay. Can it come around you? Oh my god, wait. Around you on the outside here, thank you so much. Have a good day. Now when you guys see a spot, One more right up here. Bye, right? Sneak by when you get a spot. Thanks, man.
There's somebody up there, and I want him. Just finished up day one of Moab Rocks. Before we get into the nitty gritty, I wanna give a huge shout out to our Patreon team because they are the reason that we are able to make these videos. They're the reason we wear cameras while we're racing, which frankly is not that much fun. We do it because we wanna be able to share our adventures with you guys. We wanna be able to share these race stories with you guys. And our Patreon team is what makes it possible for us to do that. So please join us in saying thank you to them. If you'd like to join us on Patreon, that would be awesome. We will put a link up in the corner. If not, totally understand, but make sure you hit that subscribe button because that lets us know that you like what we're doing and you want us to keep making videos. It is. It's really hard. Like, realistically, I know that was that probably beat expectations. I mean, you didn't crack. You didn't no. bonk. I actually felt very consistent for the whole climb. And you only got passed by one person the entire race. Well, there was a lot of yo-yoing on the climb. Like, I well, got yeah, passed and like, caught and passed and yeah. caught and passed and caught. But I kind of think I spat out all the people who were yo-yoing. I'm just, proud of you. You did an awesome job. I don't job. know. It's hard to try to be realistic and grateful that like I could even do that I can do it as fast as I could but also just like be at the bottom of the results sheet you're not where you want to be yet <laughs> yeah it's okay you can come join us my crazy revelation for the day was that if you eat and drink while you ride you stay in a good mood because I had a great attitude the whole day I felt really good for the first like 10 miles and then that steep asphalt section for sure caught me like last three I started to get a little more tired tired wow that was bad how many people did you pass on the descent 42 42 <laughs> And those were just like the active passes. There were probably like 15 or 20 people hanging out at the aid station at the top, and I did not want to stop there. Considering where we are with our training, we were both reasonably pleased with today. Mackie was only three minutes slower than his 2021 time, and there's a lot more racing still to come. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss day two, or better yet, join us on Patreon and watch it early. And I barely passed this guy and he's just kind of staying on my wheel. And then as we start climbing again, he's just right behind me. And he's like, hey, like, what do you order anywhere? And it smells good. And I was like, 
There's no way. Well, what is it? That's a really good advertisement oh, for the DR. Old Spice Fiji. That's it. Not sponsored. Speak <laughs> after the race. <laughs> yeah, I'm, just, I'm just on my deathbed here.